this is Tiffany Willis, first grade teacher at Lucy Laney, coming to you from what is my new classroom, aka my kitchen. Um, man, distance learning has been a ride. Families, students, teachers, I miss y'all so much. Being in the house has been a roller coaster as far as emotion. For children right now, COVID-19 is such an abstract concept. And to listen to the news and to hear what adults are talking about, especially if you're a young child, has to be incredibly confusing. It is such an abstract concept. And so for me, I've let go of the academic piece and I'm in the survival piece and the social emotional piece and the knowing you're okay piece. I'm missing my students and I'm missing my classroom and I'm missing wanting to give them hugs and high fives and tell them a good job and to actually see them writing and see them learning and hear their laughter and um, be a part of the struggle of learning with them. We've been seeing some students who during the regular school day are maybe shy and not able to really express themselves but now they're just coming alive online. The thing that I worry the most about is our students' safety and emotional health. I think it's impossible to imagine that they would be able to keep up academically in this setting. And so that's a question for next fall. But I think right now I just want them to be safe, to be healthy, to be happy, um, and to find connection wherever they can. Distance learning has really just confirmed to me what I already know, just the inequities that lie in education. The advantage of kids in other districts or in other life situations have ready access to internet, to multiple modes of technology. Something I would tell teachers out there, uh, just give yourself grace and be gentle with yourself. We're in this together. To my families and my students at Laney, I love you and I miss you. Before we know it, we'll be all walking through those doors on 3333 Penn Avenue, and I can't wait. It'll just be endless hugs and high fives, not looking at each other on a computer screen, and just loving each other. And to my students, if you're watching this, I know this might be hard to think about, but even though I can't be with you in the classroom every single day, I just need you to know that every single day that we're not there, I'm still with you. Now you may remember that Lucy Laney and the educators at that school were part of our award-winning film, Love Them First. Well, this weekend, CARE 11, the MSP Film Society, and the City of Minneapolis are teaming up for a special community screening of the film in honor of all of the teachers in our state. Anyone can, well, can watch it for free through the Film Society's virtual cinema. The free viewing starts tonight at 7. It will be available through Sunday night. And for more details, head to the Film Society's website.